We are at a little bit of a crossroads. Yeah. And I've been thinking about this for a little while. It's time for us to have our own time. Yeah, Frank and I have been in the van together for like three years. I don't think we've spent like a minute apart we in three years. We haven't spent a day apart. Yeah, we maybe a couple of hours max. We are gonna take a little bit of time for ourselves this week. We're gonna go our separate ways. And I think at this point we've been, I don't know, I feel like we've been traveling so hard so fast and like trying to get to Panama and do nine countries in nine months. And like, it just feels like we're like always going and moving mm. and I don't know, we haven't had a minute to like. And we're kind of in the perfect spot to like take a stop and a break and just do our own thing and allow ourselves to have the opportunity to have a little bit of growth individually. I think it's going to be a good week of just like resetting and relaxing and not working because that's another thing that I think makes this journey a little bit harder too is that we're not just like having fun all the time. We're editing, we're answering emails, we're doing a ton of stuff, we're worried about you know making enough money to do all of these things and like it's just like it becomes overwhelming. It's all the background stuff that you don't actually get to see in the videos because it would be kind of boring to watch it. Yeah, video. just like us sitting at a computer for a whole day. Yeah. I feel like even though we're in a relationship and we live in a van together, we're still individual human beings. Relationship, we're married. Yes. But like we're still individual human beings and you know, we should still be on our own growth individual path. Journeys. Yeah. I mean, even Paco, he's. Amazing, but he's also a big responsibility. He's always up in mine or Alex's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, the biggest decision that we have to make is if we're going to keep going on this nine country in nine month adventure. So we'll see if we're too burnt out to keep going or if we're going to keep on keeping on. So I guess the question is Guatemala the last stop. Okay, so I'm getting packed up for my yoga retreat. One big knapsack, one little bag, and that's it for a whole week at the yoga retreat. I figure I'm not bringing any makeup, I'm not bringing any kind of work things or computers, uh, so really just some clothes and some very light toiletries because apparently they take anything away that's not biodegradable, so I didn't want to bring anything that might not be. <laughs> Um, but right now I'm waiting for Frankie to get back. He was playing basketball this morning and on his walk down he said somebody actually tried to steal some money from him. So I was gonna walk down by myself and meet him down there but now I don't feel super comfortable doing that. Okay, Frankie is not dead, but he is late, so that means no lunch date before I leave. So I'm just gonna make up my bread and that'll be lunch. It's pretty good. I'm not mad about it. Plus, I think I'm gonna miss cooking a little bit. So, let's get to it. Very low on flour. I doubt Frankie will be baking while I'm gone, though. As I was walking down back to the basketball court and back into town, there was a guy coming up and I noticed that the way he was walking, he was like trying to block me. Mm -hmm. So he was like, I would walk this way, he'd walk that way, so on and so forth. So as we're walking down, um, he like reaches out his hand like to like give me like a high five. So I like give him a high five because I'm like, I want to try to be as nice as possible. Next time I'm giving a pound because he grabbed my hand and he tried like grabbing it really tight so I couldn't get away. But I immediately just went <laughs> right out of it. Self-defense courses. And he gave me like a burn. Like you oh see the burn God. right here and right here. You're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but here and here I have, a, I have a burn. And yeah, it looks like you popped right a there. blister. And right here. So it's like his grip was so sandy and tight that it like it, it burned my hand and I just kept walking. I was like, I was like, uh, no gracias, adios. Did he ask you for money? No, he was, he was like, uh, amigo, like he was trying to tell me like to stop. He looked like the other guy. He looked like, like messed up. Like he was on drugs or something. But next time I just give a fist pound. So that's the, lesson there oh my god but yeah it was uh I, I was thinking like if i couldn't get out of that i was just gonna go bat right in his throat i was getting so, worried so what i was told was that sadly they get paid and then they spend their money on drugs and alcohol some of the people but then they have to go back home with money so that's why robberies may happen on sunday huh. <laughs> yeah interesting right yeah 
The good thing is you'll be up in the yoga retreat. You won't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually, I scheduled the tuk-tuk to pick me up right here. So he'll be here in like 45 minutes. So we definitely don't have time for lunch because I want to get there before the first yoga class starts at 3 p.m. Frankie oh, took a little bit. Though. No, not really. If you I mean, leave at 1, it doesn't take leave... two hours to get there. No, it doesn't. But we have to stop and get changed. Yeah. And I just figured we wouldn't have time to like eat. And I told the retreat I'd be there between 1 and 2. Okay. Because I got to check in. And I got to yeah. get my room. I gotta yeah. Turn you got a lot of things to do. Yeah, I was a little late. You're very late. I was supposed to leave at like 11.30, 11.45, and I left at noon. <laughs> the game went quick. So I was like, okay, I can play one more. And then that game went long. Mm. What do you think about this, huh? What's up, buddy? Did you miss me? Did you miss the daddy? Did you miss the daddy? Yeah, he don't care. <laughs> he don't care. I feel nervous. I feel like, I don't know, it's like a new thing. Like Far away, like a whole 20 minute drive apart, uh, you know? If you need me, just send me a text like I'm walking up. What if there's no service? There's service. Uh, I've never done any like vacation or anything by myself. I've never done like a, like a retreat, but I mean, I've been to like a workout class or something, but not for like a week. So here's the deal. It will be by yourself, but it won't be by yourself. You gonna have a community of people around you that are gonna help you out and make your experience very well worth it. Bye, Olive. You gonna miss her? I'm gonna miss all of you guys. Mm, we're gonna miss you too. Yeah. I wanted this, but now I'm like, do I really? Should I, maybe I'll just stay. No, no, you gotta <laughs> do this for yourself. <gasps> Got it, uh -huh. right on. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hola. Paco's like, what is this? Death cart. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Come on. Bye. Okay, baby, I love you. Bye. Adios. Give me a kiss. Have fun, okay? I love you too. Paco, mama's saying bye bye. Bye, puppy. Give me kisses. Good boy. <laughs> See you later, baby. So now it's a 15 minute walk through the forest on, oh, I see a little sign for it. So we're definitely on the right path. Um, yeah, let's get over there. And just like that, it's just the two of us. I'm really gonna miss Alex. I love her so much. She's been just everything to me over the last three years. And, you know, I think she definitely needs this time for herself to find herself. And I think the yoga retreat is just gonna be perfect for her. I just got done watching the Giants game. They won, it was a missed field goal. First game of the year. First time they won in like 12 seasons in the first game. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Yeah. All right, now it's time to go jump in that lake. Okay, let's go. Come with me, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go to the dock. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah. He's such a little cutie. He just basically got attacked by the big dogs that are here too, so yeah, that was fun. Come on, puppy. That feels good. We are checked in. We've got our room. I'm gonna take you guys on a teeny tiny little casita tour. Obviously the location is beautiful. Got a stunning view of the lake. Coming inside, we've got a bed over here. The beautiful forest view. Got some shelving, which I've already unpacked a little bit. Then there's a second bed here if you had another guest. I'm pretty excited. The first yoga class starts in less than an hour. So yoga twice a day, meditation once a day, and then two meals are included. And then they also have a bunch of different wellness packages to choose from. The local wellness stuff starts at 150Q per session. So I'm going to check out. They have a whole guidebook that shows, you know, all the different practitioners and what they offer. So I'm excited to, I don't know just kind of relax and unwind. I feel like 
I've been trying not to cry since I got here. I don't know, I just feel a little bit overwhelmed maybe. And there was like, she was talking to me and there was, she asked a couple of rhetorical questions and I was like, don't follow up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited and this view is amazing. If you guys know anything about me, I don't normally cook, so I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna do like a pasta. It's just like number two noodle that's easy to cook, so I'm gonna get the water ready. I'm gonna throw some olive oil in it, some salt, get that ready to go, and then I'm gonna just do some like crushed tomatoes and some onion and garlic. I'm gonna keep it super simple, and that should be a good enough meal for me for the night. That's pretty freaking good. Oh, yo, that is damn good, baby. Yeah. Alex, I think you'd be super proud of me for this one. I love you, and I miss you already. Oh, guys, I ate the whole thing. I don't have any leftovers. It was so good, I couldn't leave any for tomorrow. The whole pot is completely empty. Oops. But I guess that's a good sign. It means that I made some pretty good food. Or was it the fact that I cooked it that it tasted even better? Maybe when Alex gets back, I'll cook her a nice meal. Good morning, guys. Paco and I had like kind of a lonely night last night, missing Alex, and Paco was definitely a little bit like on edge looking for her, and he did sleep really good though, so that's a great thing. I think having one of us is, is great for him. Paco and I are going to head into town and we're gonna go get some lunch out, but I also gotta pick up some groceries for myself for the rest of the week. We're gonna figure out a couple things to do. I think on Tuesday, we're gonna play some basketball. So there's a lot to look forward to, a lot that's gonna be going on and maybe we'll meet some friends along the way. Gracias. Oh, bueno. That burger was so good. And so is this cold brew with cacao. Now it's time to go shopping. How'd you think about the tomatoes, huh? Did you really like them? Yeah. Yeah, you like them. I got me a sourdough bread and a scone, cause you know I got a sweet tooth. I'm gonna head over to this health food store and see what they got. Maybe they have something exactly what I'm looking for. Gracias, amigo. Si, gracias a ti. Yeah. Paco. Si, Paco, yeah. Hola, Paco. Ah, si. Paco. Paco. Yeah. Hola, Paco. Franc Francisco? Si. Paco. Mejor. Yeah. I just realized there's one thing that I didn't get. I didn't get garlic. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. We got a big walk back to the house now. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make with all the stuff I just bought. I've spent quite a bit of money because of lunch and then everything else. Um, but not too bad. It's still extremely inexpensive relative to, you know, being from the States and making money in the States. But I know Paco is now hungry, so we're gonna get back and we're gonna see what the bounty is that I got in the bag. Oh yeah, that's amazing. But I'm gonna get up before the storm comes. Look at this. <laughs> After that magnificent jump in the water, let's see what we got. I think it did pretty good. That granola right there was about $5 US, which normally granola that size would be at least eight bucks. So that was really good. And um, I got a bunch of fruits and stuff. This might last me a couple days, but at total with lunch, with lunch and the snacks, like the goodies, with a coffee, everything, 25 bucks. Today was a really beautiful day. Uh, I, did, I did a sauna in the morning, which was really great. And then a medical medicinal bath, which was basically a bunch of local plants and the tea, and then you cleanse your body with it, which was very cool. Um, two yoga classes. I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday, I just wanted to cry all the time. And today, I don't really feel like that, which is kind of the whole point. It's probably only like 6 p.m. right now, but the rains have started and I'm probably just gonna 
I don't know, settle into bed, and read, journal, meditate, and then pass out and do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, I miss Banky, I miss Paco, but I'm glad what I'm here. I'm gonna see you later. We have an awesome friend who's gonna watch you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. It's amazing. Hola, amigo. You know what time it is. So it looks like the streak of jumping off the dock has come to an end. There's some wood blocking it because it looks like it caved in a little bit. Quick dive in and then I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna take a shower. Today is the day we finally get to go see Alex. She's finally coming home and I'm so excited about it. And I know that Paco is too, if he knew what was actually happening today. Oh, that's good. <sighs> it's officially my last day at the yoga forest. I'm feeling so revitalized, re-energized, excited to get back to the van, to get back to Frankie, to get back to Paco. I feel like this week has been really transformative. I've gotten a lot of new tools that I can use to kind of, I don't know, keep a little bit of this feeling with me always. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I feel like whenever you leave a retreat, it's always like, oh, I've got all these lofty ideas about what I want to do, but really trying to incorporate those into everyday life and make it so that I don't get to a point again anytime soon where I feel like I am burning out and need a break and need to reset. So I think this has been really good and I'm so glad that I came here. It's so beautiful here. The people have been amazing. The food has been amazing. The spaces are so sacred and beautiful and it's just been really cool to be involved in like ceremony and spending so much time with women. I feel like I haven't spent like, like good time with women and friends and things like that in a long time. And so it's just been really like healing to, you know, experience that energy in a different way. So I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous maybe, you know, hopefully it just doesn't fall back into the same patterns and routines, but yeah, I think this has been a really perfect moment in time and I'm super grateful for it. Hola, amigos. Hey, uh, yo yoga forest? Cuanto cuesta? Quince. Quince? Si, okay. Papa, up. 
Up, up, up. No, no, this way. In the back. <laughs> Paco, come here. You gotta come to the back, buddy. Ah. There you go, buddy. Good boy. So Alex should be coming down this road that I'm standing at right now. It's so slippery at the bottom that I slipped and hit my elbow on the concrete, but I'm okay. I gotta sleep this road again. Who is that? Is that mama? Mama. Is that the mama? Is that the mama? Is that the mama? I'm loving you. Aww. I don't think you realize it is you till now. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hi. Mm. Mm. I love you. I miss you. Yeah. Thank you so much to our Patreons. We are so grateful to have such a supportive community so that we can share the ups and downs of van life. Yeah.